Only five runners, but if there's no quantity, there's certainly a lot of quality. The Star Colt Octagonal, second in the Golden Slipper, won the size produce, and he's going to pay $1.70 if he wins the champagne. He looks the winner, but it'll be a great race. Number two, Latin Quarter, showing $6.50. Pontalas is out to $9.50. Show of Force looked an absolute treat, and she's coming to $8.50 on the tote. I sold her Shane Dye's mount in from $4.80 to $4.70. Only the five runners. There's Octagonal. It'll be a battle of tactics. Possibly Latin Quarter will lead. I think he'll pull too hard if he doesn't. But uh, you look out for that fella. He's going to make into one of the stars of the Australian turf, and let's hope that he can continue on that, uh, on that path in today's race. Uh, Johnny Tapp, only five runners, but wacko, what a field. Show of force, five starters, three fillies. Yes, three out of the five are fillies. But the favourite, the short price favourite, is very much a cult. Octagonal by Zabil out of eight carat. And his full brother in blood sold at the recent William Inglis Australian sale for $400,000. A full brother to Octagonal. Now the starter, Bill Cooper, has arrived at the rostrum. Hey, Onto his stand now, has the button, and they're ready to break in the Mowat and Shondon Champagne Stakes. <laughs> Off and running in the Champagne, and Latin Quarter stayed in the gate. I think Brian York wanted him to begin in a leisurely way, and he certainly yeah. did that. He'll settle down at the tail of the field. Isolde bounced out in front. It's very obvious that nobody wants to be in front. Isolde slows them right up and leads by a half length to octagonal. Pontel Lass, Latin Quarter, is now getting up on the fence and he's going to pull here. He's starting to pull noticeably in the run to the first turn with a very slow speed. And show of force is last of the five, but only three lengths off the lead. They're going at a hand canter as they come up to the first turn and Isolde with the inside running pulled her way to about a neck lead on octagonal. A little more than a length to Latin Quarter quarter who's giving Brian York a torrid ride in third place with his head right up in the air a head away on the outside is Pontel Lass and a length and a quarter to show of force last of the five coming over the crossing at the 800 I sold a just shading octagonal two lengths away Latin quarter I don't think King Kong had hold him any slower in fourth spot on the outside is Pontel Lass and between them now show of force as they start the run down the side with 700 to go they've quickened here I sold her about a head to octagonal a length and a half to Latin quarter followed by Pontel Lass and show of force is now easing to the outside as they come around the turn. Into the straight, I sold a lead from octagonal. Three deep as Pontel Lash, show of force widest of all, and Latin Quarter's got a mile of room on the inside if he's good enough. Over the rise, I sold a still in front. Cooksley getting busy on octagonal, and Pontel Lash and show of force further out, and uh, the other one, Latin Quarter's only a length and a half off the lead. I sold a being tackled in earnest by octagonal. Octagonal coming at I sold a Pontel Lash is still there. Octagonal's gutsy, so is I Solder, they're coming to the line, absolutely locked together in a head bobber. Maybe I solder, but gee, there's nothing in it. I solder or octagonal in a head bobbing finish. Pontel Lass has run third. That was almost a carbon copy of the Sire's produce. Show of force fourth and Latin quarter fifth, and he ruined his prospects by pulling hard. Yeah, well, I reckon I, sol I solder has won for sure. I think she's tipped out the favourite. Let's line them up. I solder Shane Dye in the colours carried by the great Burnborough with the purple sleeves and the black cap, and in the all cerise, almost pink colours, is the Colt Octagonal. Octagonal got to the lead, but I think you'll find I sold a kicks back. Let's try and stop them right on the line. She gets her head down, and by golly, it looks there as though I sold her has just beaten Octagonal. That's the way I see it. If she's won, I sold her. TAB number five, she'll pay $4.60 the win and $2 the place. Number one, Octagonal will pay $1.10 for second, and there'll be no third dividend for TAB number three, Pontel Lass. There's I sold her. I think she's won. We'll have the official result for you shortly. It's up now. Number five, I sold her first. Number one, Octagonal second. We'll take a break and be back with more on the wide world of sports. One and three, the solder got it, four dollars sixty, two dollars even. Octagonal only a dollar ten, and Pontal Lass was third, but no third dividends, just five starters in that race. In As the